you're playing the piece, all you can think about is counting. And it's crazy. It's 7 plus 16 plus 14 plus 3 plus 10. You just have to keep in time, pay attention. And it's really man versus machine. He's a wonderful composer, and he was particularly into this, this question of the future of technology. And already in 1919, 1920, he was thinking about this, what would this piece sound like? And it took him a few years to be able to create it. He wanted to take player pianos, mechanical pianos, which have rolls inside them, to connect 16 of them, and to have them all working in synchrony. That, that didn't happen. It wasn't possible with the technology of the time. So what we're doing now is a recreation of what he probably imagined. First of all, as I'm playing the piano, and in addition to that, there are a set of loudspeakers behind and underneath the piano. And these loudspeakers are each projecting additional sounds so that I'm just one part of the sort of tapestry of sound. audience, it's quite amazing because you hear all the different pieces coming through. You hear the electric bells, you hear the sirens, you hear the propellers, you hear the mechanical pianos, and then you hear the real piano in the center. Uh, and you also have the visual thing, you get to see that person playing. And it's the endless question of the 20th century, which is more important, the machine or the creativity, the machine or the art. And Antile, I think, synthesizes these in this piece to make an incredible whole. like a Rossini opera where you're going to go humming the theme. Da, 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 da. But what you do take home from this is this incredible onslaught of the machinery and also this, this vision that people had at the time. Mm -hmm. 